Hello YouTube and welcome to another Windows tutorial. So in this video we're gonna actually learn how to install and manage applications on Windows system using WinGate. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, what is WinGate? So actually WinGate is a powerful command line package manager for Windows. So if you are using actually Linux, for example, Debian like application or system, you are used to use actually the apt package manager, okay? Or if you are using Red Hat, you use the UM package manager. On under macOS, you use what we call a homebrew. So these are all package managers for different operating system, okay? So Wingate on the other hand on Windows allows you to search for or install and uninstall packages from a command line environment, okay? So before you begin, you actually need to check if Wingate is already installed on your system. So for that, you go to your actually search bar here on Windows and simply you look for PowerShell, okay? And it's always good to run Windows PowerShell as administrator. So I will click on it. Here we go. And I will hit yes in order to run it as an administrator. So now oh, I am on uh, PowerShell prompt. So all I have to do to check if Wingate is installed is to type the command Wingate. Okay. So if you get a display like that, output like that, it means that Wingate is already installed. So here, as you can see, I get Windows Package Manager version 1.7, okay? So which means I have already actually Wingate installed on my Windows 11 machine. And if Wingate is not installed, you will get an error message actually uh, commonly written in red okay but i can also install it if not installed by default okay so i will show you how you can install it but using this time microsoft store okay so if you want to install it you go actually to your search once again and you look for microsoft store okay and you launch it here we go and you go to apps actually and you type in the search bar here Wingate so so this is the application that you will get and make sure it's from Microsoft Windows okay so all you have to do is to install it in order to get Wingate okay There is also another way to install it, it is actually through the GitHub releases. So you open your browser actually and you type GitHub Wingate. So the first link you get, you click on it. So this is the GitHub repository for Wingate command line. And you go here to the releases. So you click on this latest release. Here we go. And actually you have to download this MSI X bundle so you can see it's around 248 megabytes so you download this bundle and you install it then you will get your Wingate installed on your system okay okay so now let's take a look as um, at some commands that you can execute in your terminal in order to actually play with it okay so this is our PowerShell terminal so as you can see I have Wingate so let's clear the screen and here I will show you some useful commands so the first command actually is actually to append the minus V option to display actually only the installed version of Wingate so I will just type Wingate minus V for version actually and here you can see that I get version 
one that seven that eleven hundred two hundred sixty one actually version okay so let's say now that we want to install actually an application for example the famous uh, video player VLC so first of all we have to execute a command in order to search for it so the command is Wingate as you may guess it's search because I'm searching for application and the application name is VLC so I will hit enter and see what we get a few moments later so of course you will get this message here the Microsoft Store source requires that you view the following agreement with you before using so this is term of transaction so do you agree all the source agreement terms so I will hit yes and now you get the name of the app the ID the version and the match so here you can see that I get a different version okay but me I am interested in this third one which is the VLC media player okay which has as version as you can see here 3.0.20 okay so now in order to install actually this uh, VLC media player it's pretty easy what I have to do is to type Wingate and as you may guess install then here I have to provide the ID not the application name as you can see here the ID is video lane.vlc so I will type it video lane dot vlc so this is the command that you must execute in order to install the target software okay so let's hit enter and see what we get And here you see another window that has appeared which is window installer preparing to install a few moments later so here as you can see I get uh, an installer felt with exit code 1603 so this error simply means that the software that I want to install is already installed on my system okay so let's actually check for another app so let's for example search for 7-zip which is a very famous compression utility so I will do the same I will search for it and now I'll try to install it using actually its ID so 7-zip dot zip that actually 7-zip also so make sure to type it alpha dot msi okay so this is the ID name so let's execute that and see what we get so actually here I have to install not to search here we go so I get same actually steps and now as you can see 7-zip is or has been successfully installed okay and if you want to uninstall it it's pretty also easy all you have to do is to do the same command but instead of install I will change it to uninstall actually and always with the ID not the application name and here we go you can see the step for uninstalling the software okay a few moments later and here we go you get the message successfully uninstalled okay so you can see how easy it is to install and install application using Wingate okay You can also update existing software with Wingate, okay? Because as you may know, software get updated frequently and it's always a good idea to keep your software up to date, okay? So, 
if you run the command wingate upgrade actually you will see a list of available software updates okay so all these software actually needs to be updated so in this column here you get the version that you have installed and the available actually version okay so if you want to actually upgrade any software so for example let's say that we want to upgrade this draw.io application so all you have to do is to append to the previous command wingate upgrade you have to append it actually this id of the software okay so for example me i have to upgrade using this id gj graph actually dot draw in order to update my software draw.io okay a few moments later and finally as you can see we get the message successfully installed which means that we have actually successfully updated this draw.io software okay and finally we will talk about actually repositories so as you may know wingate fetches its software from central repository okay so actually it gets its software from two repositories there is the official Microsoft Store, which is MS Store, and also from the Wingate, which is the community-driven repository managed by Microsoft Wingate team. Okay, okay. and you can actually uh, use the command Wingate source list in order to see the available repositories. Okay. So as I told you there are two, there is the official one from Microsoft which is MS Store and the Wingate which is actually a driven repository managed by Microsoft Wingate team. And in order actually to update your repositories, which is a good practice, you have to execute command Wingate source update. Okay. So, as you can see, the update is pretty quick, pretty easy. And finally, if you want to get the list of all the software available in the Wingate repository, all you have to do is to execute command wingate.list. So, here you will get a long list of all the software that are available. It's such a long list actually and this is it you get actually all the essential command that you can execute in order to run Wingate and of course the help is always available if you type just Wingate as it is you will get a list of all the available commands that you can execute so Wingate is a powerful tool that lets you install and install and update software easily okay and in this video I'll show you the basic of using Wingate actually. So if you like the video don't uh, forget to subscribe to our channel and as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye!